Hello, in this video I'm going to go over RC um, circuits, which basically just means a resistor and capacitor are in series or parallel to one another in a battery, and it creates an RC circuit. RC circuits um, have a slow increase and decrease, and, and if I'm correct, it allows you to um, better control current fluctuations, speeds, um, etc. Um, so I'm just going to throw out the equations and kind of explain what they mean real quick and um, to help you on a test because that's what I do. So for charging, a capacitor, well a capacitor is charging, um, this was what it will be. We'll have an EMF, or the max potential battery can give you, minus the charge divided by capacitance, minus the current times the resistor. This is applying Kir Kirchhoff's rule, where we have the total potential, minus the potential across the capacitor, minus the potential across the resistor, which has to equal zero. This should be known from Kirchhoff's rule, obviously. And um, in order to get the maximum charge of a charging RC circuit, um, we can get the capacitance times the EMF. Um, this has a time constant. This does not. So um, if we're just looking at like time is zero or infinite, whatever. Um, we will have the big Q divided by C because we'll have the maximum capacitance instead of this Q. Um, so we multiply C over, multiply C over, and we end up with the maximum capacitance in our C circuit is the EMF is equal to the capacitance of the capacitor times, oh, uh, I'm sorry, should be on this side, times big Q, which is the charge. Um, now, in order to, I'm, I'm trying to make this so it's not too much into people in engineering physics, so I can kind of branch the gap, but the change in charge divided by the change in time, uh, time, is equal to the MF divided by R minus Q divided by RC. Um, that is derived from all this stuff over here. And I'm not going to do that because I want to keep this under 10 minutes. So if um, we want to get obtain charge as a function of time um, for an RC circuit, what we do is we take QT and set it equal to uh, capacitor times the EMF times 1 minus um, e to the negative t divided by rc. Now on my website, I will go through and derive this, but here I'm just going to show the equations, kind of explain them a bit, to help you guys get through your test, which is my goal. Um, which is also equal to the maximum charge times 1 minus um, e to the negative r T divided by RC. Um, if you plug these in, just memorize them. Um, R is the resistance, C is the capacitance of the capacitor, and uh, these are both total capacitance and total resistance. Um, you may, you're going to need to maybe go through my other videos to understand what REQ and R, RCEQ mean, and that's how you can get this if you don't just have one capacitor and one resistor. Um, but this will give you the charge on the capacitor at a specific point, or a specific time. Um, if you want the current at a specific time, because current is affected by the capacitance, um, you can set it equal to the EMF divided by the total resistance in the circuit times E to the negative T divided by RC. Um, 
obviously this is REQ, CEQ, R, uh, REQ, and the time at whatever specific time to find the current. If you have a current, you're going to need to solve for, and you're needing to solve what's the current at this point, at this time, you're going to have to figure that out. Um, you just do the algebra. Um, again, this will help with uh, slow accelerations and gradual dece um, decelerations, which can help, for example, if you don't want to blow a fuse. Um, and this is just another thing. It's tau, which is equal to RC. And this will be a time constant, which is essentially when, um, which essentially um, it helps you graph if you're graphing. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but your teacher might need you to know that. Um, the discharging of a, of a uh, RC system is the following. It's Q T, which is equal to the total charge E to the negative T divided by RC. Um, what that means is the charge, the total charge on the capacitor, if you like turn off the battery, there's no more EMF, and you say take that part of the equation out, and there's no, you're not adding to anything, so this constant right here, or this constant right here, um, divided by T, it'll give you the amount of charge at a specific time. Quite often, they're asking for what's the charge at a time, so you'll need to do algebra. If you do the algebra, you will get um, QT divided by Q. Um, ln, all of this, times rc, negative, which is equal to t. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not really explaining this very well, but these are the equations you're going to need, so I'm just trying to help you understand the equations. So this is a charge at a specific time, all the resistance, all the capacitance, the total charge on the, um, the initial charge on the capacitor, or capacitors, and this will be the time at which this charge is equal to, like all these are equal to each other. Um, the current at a specific time is equal to negative Q divided by RC times E to the negative T divided by RC. Obviously these are all um, R equivalent and C equivalent, or R EQ, C EQ, and um, if you think about it, this makes sense. Resistance, capacitance, all the units match up. Um, and this is the current as a function of time for uh, the discharging of a capacitor. I know I didn't explain this too well, but as I said, there'll be better ex explanations on my website, which can definitely help you out. And you'll also um, feel free to comment and I'll answer as many questions as I can and if someone suggests a new video and shows actual interest I will create a new video which I mean try to give me the parameters that you would like me to focus on because I don't want any 20 minute videos out can make that but it's a lot of work anyways hope this helps a little bit if not I can see but anyways thank you for your time